Burger Rippy, I just arrived over here at Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, Powell, Ohio. It's after uh, one, about 1 in the afternoon for the Colo car search for Colo here. The water park shut down um, Labor Day. It's uh, 20 bucks a car for a good cause. Looks like it's quite a bit aftermarket. Uh, so. The red vet. I just saw a mid-engine, uh, a bunch of trailered cars in, because the trailers are over there. Here's the bubble window, early 60s Catalina with the tri-power. So these look like cars we've seen in uh, Plain City. We saw several nice Torinos this summer. That's the one with the HEI. The purple Peter Eater. Plum crazy. I haven't seen this car this year. Wow. Oreo Speedwagon, he's calling it. <laughs> and you know, uh, it's, it is unique. Very unique automobile. Uh, probably a Buick or something. Oh, a beautiful 88 uh, rag top. Still in the 50s today here at uh, 1 30 in the afternoon. Huh. Kind of reminds me of those saddle shoes people used to wear, but yeah, an Oldsmobile. Um, it almost looks like the window doesn't somehow. That that's pretty uh pretty well made how they've put this together with that curved glass. I would love to see that opened up. It, it's uh the fit and everything's just so perfect. So yeah, see, a lot of people own these cars are old, older people, so they sit in the back, and we, we keep plenty far apart. I'm running a little late. I had a long talk with my mom on the way over here. She's 78. So, these two look kind of from the same area, Oldsmobiles, with the large single round headlights, 1957. That's what they were offering. Here's a hard top slam. Uh, so yeah, something to see. Here's a gasser in a royal blue. A little half ton here with uh, dual four carburetors on it. And uh, it's a one piece windshield that kind of curves. That's kind of uh, pretty custom how they, somebody built that glass. It's got a little bit of a curve in it there. A Chevy a Jeep Laredo from the 80s I'm just guessing and he's got a convertible car sitting out by himself make our way around go ahead and keep it running for another five minutes uh, we'll get these cars later so there's kind of two rows here so we're gonna miss half of them kind of digging the city sky thing looks like Columbus the Punisher they're going to be giving out awards here too this has the very cool cross ram it's a Hemi and it's a wagon a 64 Hemi Belvedere wagon, 426, 425 horse. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. You know, one more big car showing for the end of the year. Um, last year on this day, it was 90 degrees. And we were here the year before. I, I come to the zoo every other year, basically. So we missed the one last year and the one before. It was pretty hot that day, I remember. It was, it was definitely sandals and shorts. Did not know how to dress today. Even I have a spare shirt in the thing and I almost wore it, but I'm wearing my tour coat with a cutoff sleeve. A Speedster. I'm thinking it's a kit car. It's saying 57. Uh, possibly an original Speedster right here. And gunmetal gray. 
No, it's 2015. Chassis built in 2015 kit car Beautiful very popular also Probably a good investment lots of fun Nice job on the Porsche the James Dean car um, One of the kind of their they just didn't make many of them did they so we learned quite a bit about cars this year But yeah, the Plymouth Prowler he's got the bumpers on it like kind of in the fenders like Ohio wants you to and they, they even wanted you to have a license plate on there until this year on the front which is pretty stupid law we had there's the HEI one of those guys from we've seen in Plain City uh, that Hyundai I always thought those look like vets when they brought those out we're gonna skip over well I'm gonna go ahead and end the film here then uh, but the back corner lot of the car show, beautiful side of the valley. Uh, tons of Indian tribes lived here at one time. And uh, enjoying the car show for Colo here on October the 3rd at Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. Bro, Thanks for watching.